Alright everyone, it's the Prince of Saiyans, and I'm going to play the Stanley Parable. Let's see what it's all about. I'm ready. Been ready for a long time to play this game. Been hearing a lot about it. Let's see what's going on here. It's loading. Yep. Waiting for this game to load. Click this to skip. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. I see. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk. Okay. Buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Really? Although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Bullshit! He made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. I'm not happy with this! And Who then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something really? Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Mm. No one had showed up to give him instructions. There's no one meeting, here. Or even say, hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Really? Something was very clearly wrong. No shit. Stopped, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I'm looking around here. Okay. Let me see what's going on here. No one's here! Can you open the... Can't open that. Let's see. It's very empty and fucking... Where is everyone? Did the end of the world happen when I was in my fucking office or whatever? And why is it so bright outside? Dear God, what is this, Silent Hill? Okay. It's very odd. Can't open that. Well, alright, I guess I go through here. Anyone in there? Nope, not a soul. I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, nothing there. What the hell? What even is that? Alright. What the hell? How am I supposed to leave? Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to lock myself in. Did I forget something? I'm assuming I did. I probably forgot something. Let's go look and see. Da -da 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 -da. Coffee! No, I don't know. Looking around. There's something I'm missing, but I just can't place what I'm missing. Turn that off. Okay. This is getting very weird. So what do I do? Do I just stand around and look? Is this the game? I just look around? Turn that off. What the hell am I supposed to do, guys? I don't understand what I, what's the goal. Do I jump? How do I jump? I can crawl. What can I do? I don't think I can do anything else. I don't know what, what the hell is supposed to happen here. I'm just stuck in a maze. No one to help me. 
See, that leads somewhere, but I can't get there. And what's this place? I don't know. What even is that? Closet? It won't even let me close the door. Well, I guess I'm supposed to just plow the coffee spilt. Somebody has been wasting some good cup of joe. What's here? Nothing. What the flying fuck is going on? What the hell? Okay. Th that's obviously glass over there, but there is no glass here. Why? Why do I feel like I'm supposed to be jumping? But I don't know how to jump. If there is an option to jump, I'm not seeing it. The flying fuck am I supposed to do? This is taking forever! You fucking serious here? This is crazy! Oh, there's a printer. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office. No shit! Because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. You fuck off! Use for my environment. What does that even mean? I don't understand, man. What am I supposed to do? This doesn't make any sense. I'm just looking around in an office and there's nothing here. Environment, I'm looking around. Nothing. Nothing. There is nothing here. There is nothing here. What the hell am I supposed to do? Are you fucking serious right now? You know what? I just don't even understand. Where am I supposed to go? Who am I supposed to be? I... Guys. All right, let me think this through. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. There's nothing there, but there is no glass here. There's no glass. But yet, I can't get over here. Makes no sense. Box can't open it. Why, I don't know. Door will not work. The flying fuck am I supposed to do? Just crawl. Okay, this is dumb. This is very fucking dumb. Fuck this game, okay? Oh god. Don't understand. Fuck. I heard a little Nyeh! I heard that and I didn't know what that was, but I heard a sound. It was um very weird. going to go. The cheetah doesn't know where he's supposed to be. Oh god. I'm back where I began. Let me see here. Alright. 
Doesn't work when I do that. Doesn't work when I do that. All right. Let's see, 4.30, let's see here. Let me look, well, let's try this. Don't understand. What the hell is going on here? Does not make any sense. Do 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 do. All right. Let me see here. Let's try this. God, this is becoming annoying! Hold on. I'm over this fucking... There's nothing I can do, it seems. Alright. Let's try this. See? I can get up here. Come on. Come on. Why can't I jump up there? I just don't know what I'm supposed to do! This makes no sense. I don't understand it. This game All is of fucked. his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. A memo of some kind. Let I me mean, look and see. No here. matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. There is no memo. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Oh, shut up, you fucking narrator! Not even up in the situation! Let me see. Wait, my door's locked? How did that happen? Okay. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do I really? All right. Maybe the narrator knows what he's talking about. I don't know. What the flying fuck is going on? Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, right. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker? Why not just punch them in the face and end it all? Or kill them. What the hell? All right. Where? Oh, everyone is unique. I see. Well, I'm going to be... 
Well, the door locked itself. I don't like that. that? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. So you say? All right, fine. I'll listen to the damn narrator. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Fine. I'll walk up the stairs, since you seem to know everything, narrator Sama. Okay. I guess this is the way. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Two, eight, of course, four, five. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two, eight, four, five. Oops, son of a bitch. Okay. Two, eight, four, five. Stanley just yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Let's do this shit! Where in the fuck am I going, guys? This is weird. Right down. Okay. This is very fucking weird. I don't like where this is heading. Well, this game is a mindfuck. It took me a good while to even figure out where the fuck I was going. I had to actually really think. God, I don't understand what's going on. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Really? How did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. All right. It's very dark and spooky. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Why would I go there? Escape! I don't know which one to do! It says escape! Mind Control Facility! Escape! A rational motherfucker would go this way! But it might be a trap! The narrator's got me this far! But I have a feeling he's gonna fuck me! Oh well. Let's go and... Uh, fuck that! I'm going this way! I'm leaving! Although this, but of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Ah. Uh, escape! Escape! My... Tr s fuck it! I'll go! I'll see what this is all about! They locked me in here, didn't they? A point of no return. Here I go. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Okay. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Can't leave. So what choice do I have? Like really, what choice do I really have? Press the button. Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. What the, the fuck? The of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Well, this is some weird shit. Yeah, very weird shit. Uh, press the button. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. 
Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yep, seems that way. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Why do I feel like he's sarcastic? His entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. What and the as hell? the reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Damn right! No one controls the Prince of the Saiyans! NOBODY! I will end this shit! Five? Don't know what that means, but okay! And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, bitch! Okay. What's gonna happen? Well? Just black? Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Oh he yeah. Shackled himself from someone else's command. Well, that's Freedom cool. was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Wait, is that it? Did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber. He realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Happiness! Because his goal had not been to understand- This narrator is really weird, he's just talking, not- no Oh, I'm ready to get out of here. To go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Whatever! Was perhaps the only thing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Yeah. All right. Let's be on my way. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. Oh yeah. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay. Is that it? Is that, is that, is that all, what? Don't understand. I'm very... What's next? What's next on the agenda? Wait, that was it? Oh my god, that was it! Can you believe that?